Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday and I am going to try to be real good and make some videos this week. Today I wanted to just do one, an outfit of the day, and then I wanted to thank two people that I got surprise gifts and I hated to wait till Friday. I wanted to go ahead and thank them now. And so one I got this past weekend and you guys are so good at getting me things that I don't have and that I would love to have. And the first one is from Holly and she is a subscriber here on YouTube and I follow her on Instagram and I'm going to put her Instagram down below because she has a beautiful Instagram. She has really good taste in like nude lipsticks. I've used a couple of her combos and just her pictures are beautiful. And um, she just wrote me a real sweet little note. And her name on Instagram is Kaiko Babe Two. <laughs> so she sent me a Clarisonic. Let me pick up everything. But it is the Clarisonic Petty Scrubber, and it's the whole kit, the Sonic Foot Transformation. And I need this so bad because you know how much I wear flip flops and high heels. So you can imagine what my feet go through. And it says for 10 times smoother feet than manual buffing at home pedicare system to thoroughly transform rough dry heels and toes in just minutes for soft supple beautiful feet especially toes my poor toes get crammed in those pointy toe shoes so they are going to love it so thank you so much holly this was not necessary but i really really appreciate it and it came with the little kit and everything so I'm going to, I couldn't wait to show you because I'm going to get started with that. And then yesterday I went to the post office to, as usual, send out my packages and check my post office box. And there was a package for me and it was one of those slips that I had to give to her. And she came out with this box and I just thought it was the cutest little thing. Look at this little teeny Zappos box. And I don't know if you'll get it, but if you're used to getting Zappos, you know, the, the big box looks exactly like this. And I've never gotten a small one. I thought it was so cute. And it was jam-packed full of stuff. And this is from Lori. And I really loved what Lori said. She said that she loved my videos and that she was in her 40s. And she had just started really getting into makeup. And But she says, however, I have loved expensive shoes and handbags for a while. And <laughs> these are some of the things that she likes. And she wanted me to try. And she wanted to thank me for doing my videos and all that kind of good stuff. So, some of this stuff I have not really, I haven't used, of course, because I just got this yesterday, but I did use today, she sent me this, which is the Kevin Aquan Mascara. It's the Essential Mascara, and that is all I have on today. So, you can see that it worked really well. It has a neat wand. I wasn't sure, I didn't have time to like go read up on it, but see how the wand is, it's one of those, it's almost spoons your eyelashes and it had plenty of stuff on there which is what I like and most mascaras it'll probably be even better like the next time and the next time because you know how like when you first start using them it's almost like they need some air in there first to get really good and um, so I was really excited about that because I have not tried a bunch of Kevin Aquan stuff but I think I just did I just order something I think I've thought about ordering that candlelight powder. I don't know how many times. I don't think I did, but I think I've thought about it. <laughs> so anyway, I love that. And then she sent me this lipstick. And it's the one I have on now. And it is beautiful. It is from Lipstick Queen. And it's Bare Nude. And it is the Saint. Because I think the Saints are more sheer and shiny. And then the centers are more opaque. I think that's how it goes. But it is gorgeous. I just love it. It's a beautiful nude. And I put it on with a new It Cosmetics lip liner. I just got this past weekend. It's not buff nude. I think it's blush nude. It's a little bit darker and not quite as gray. It has a little bit more of a rosy tone to it, I believe. And so that's what I have on with this. And it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love the way it's glossy. So I didn't feel like I needed to put anything else on with it. And it feels really good. It feels really smooth. And it doesn't make my lips, it keeps them smooth. It doesn't make them all chap looking. It's an easy, easy nude. Then there's this Bonnie Holmes Satin Body and Bath Oil. I love stuff like this, especially in the summer when you get out of the shower. Okay, then this, which I thought was so neat, the Slim and Stylish Sonic Toothbrush, which I, John last night said, you're going to get your teeth clean, aren't you? Because I was just like scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. I love to brush my teeth. That's one of my favorite things. 
makes your mouth feel so much better. The uh, Mirabella Velvet Trio Limited Edition Crushed Velvet Lip Pencils. And I have tried several Mirabella things. The place I went to years ago, gosh, I think it was before, no, it was right after YouTube. It was one of the places I went in between getting my hair done, sold Mirabella, and I tried several things. And then these wipes, this is Intrinsics Naturally Gentle Cleansing Towels, 100% natural cotton, which I can always, always use those. And I will give you feedback on these and let you know, you know, how great they are. Okay, this is a little lip kit from Laka and Company. <laughs> Look at the um, box though, it's pretty. And let's see what it looks like. I think it's pencils, yeah. That one on the end looks like a good nude one, but they're good summer colors. Because the summer is when I seem to go lighter on the eye makeup and brighter on the lips. And I think it's, I don't know, I don't know why I do that. And then this, I really have no idea what it is. We're gonna open it up, but it says, eccentric molecules eccentric 01 and we're going to open it up right now i don't know this is why it's not open because i couldn't get it open i was in the car when i opened you guys would not believe the amount of time that i spend in the car it's a long time because we live kind of on the outside of town anyway and um just by the time i go back and forth and then wait in the car for the kids and so i end up doing a lot of stuff in the car Let's see what this is. I wonder if it's a fragrance. Ooh, it is. Oh my goodness. Look how cool that is. And it matches my outfit. <laughs> okay. We are going to... Mmm, yeah, that smells good. Okay, I will have to look it up. I don't know how to pronounce that or if it's even supposed to be, but I will look it up and see what notes are in it. It smells good. It's a definitely one of my type scents. It's definitely a deeper scent. It's not real floral. Oh, I love it. Love it. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that too. I needed to put something on. It smells, I'm trying to think of what it could smell like. It smells similar to my Bond Number no. 9 scents, maybe Lexington Avenue, or um, it smells kind of like Coney Island. It has that, um, maybe a citrusy type smell like Coney Island, the Bond Number no. 9. Oh God, that smells good. So thank you so much, Lori. Thank you for the thought. Thank you for the sweet note and the, I just, I really appreciate it when y'all give me the, your vote of confidence and, and that, you know, I don't know. And I'm thankful that I could help you get into being girly because I think it's awesome. I love being a woman and I just think it's so much fun and so I love when I can hear that. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then let you guys go and I think tomorrow I'm going to either try to do some favorites like some more ridiculously expensive things like maybe shoes or I might do my MAC top 10 lipsticks. One of those is what I had in mind and I just didn't have time to get everything together today. But, um, so I'll be right Today back with my outfit of the day. You guys probably remember this dress. I think I've had it, oh, this is probably the third season that I've worn it. And it's just a good t-shirt dress. And it is by Monroe, the same people that make those sweatpants I've been getting and the t-shirts and all that kind of good stuff. But I thought it would look good with the shoes These that I wanted to Shoes that I got the other day. And gosh, so far they are so comfortable. Those ties have not bothered me in the least so far, but I haven't been anywhere. I've just been wearing them around the house. So I just thought, and they're just, aren't they a great nude? And um, so I just thought these would look good with this dress. Okay, and then for accessories, I have on one of my new necklaces. It is the Jenny Bird, I think it's called the Illuma Bib Necklace. And this is, I ordered a big shipment of Jenny Bird to put on my blog for sale. And I ordered some of these, which this bracelet is awesome. It's, I can't remember what it's called right now. I have to put it right here. But it's, this is like a really, really strong magnet. And then it has, I think it's called Hustlin' It bracelet. But I just love it. I've worn it a bunch since I've gotten it because it's very, very comfortable. And then this is the Crescent Moon Cuff. And I just think they look good together. Gosh, this magnet is so strong. 
that you want to get it right the first time because then you have to okay there it goes you heard it and um so but the first time that i put a order in for things to put on my blog i just ordered one of these for me because i didn't know you know i really didn't know i wanted to see how it was and as soon as i got it i immediately emailed them back and ordered some more to put on my blog because it is for one thing it's gorgeous and for another it is so comfortable and that is so weird to say about a necklace but it's mesh and it just when it lays on your neck it just lays really flat and smooth and you don't even feel it it's not it's just heavy enough to be substantial but it's not real heavy it's not bulky whatsoever and i just think it's going to be an awesome piece for maxi dresses and just anything it looks good like up underneath a collared shirt and then more stuff layered over it it's just gorgeous and so i love that and then um, nail polish is the one of my favorites the dior blue satin and then this is something else new that i got i saw this on sheila fajal's finger <laughs> in some of her pictures and i asked her about it i said you know i want to i want one of those rings and this is something that she doesn't just stock in her store she has to have them made in brazil so she just got them in and i just got my package yesterday it's called the swirls cigar band ring and um, i ordered one for me and i put some on my blog store too so there's I think I have like three or four other ones, but it also, I love big, nice jewelry, but stuff that's still comfortable, and that's how this is, and I just love it, and it's going to look so good, like layered with other things, and then I didn't put any earrings on because I felt like I had enough stuff going on today, and my face today is, I've been kind of hitting the, I didn't really mean to, but I think I've been putting a little bit too much, sorry, that's John's, one of his <laughs> work phones. Okay. But what was I going to say? Oh, goodness. I've been trying to. I've been trying to. Oh, I know what it was. I have been trying to. I had gotten off of my hydroquinone for a little bit, and now I've been mixing my Rafisa back with my Abaji blender, which has the hydroquinone in it. And that, the Rafisa doesn't make me peel on its own, but when I mix it with that hydroquinone, it just makes me peel. And so my skin is just really rough looking today. I don't know if that's translating on the camera. But anyway, <laughs> like you like you care about that. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will be back here tomorrow to do some type of video. And um, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.